Hello and welcome to the Victory Education Lounge. We're here today to guide you on a fascinating journey into the world of medical residency. Our topic, how to answer one of the most pivotal questions during your residency interview. How do you plan to contribute to our residency program? So if you're ready to embark on this exciting phase of your medical career, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Let's dive into the world of medical residency interview process and move one step closer to your residency goals. This question might seem daunting, but don't worry, we've got you covered. We'll be exploring key strategies and methods to help you shine in your responses. A little secret, it's not just about your skills, but also your attitude, teamwork, and growth vision. So buckle up and prepare for some insightful tips and tricks that will give you an edge in your upcoming interviews. Before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment if you're excited about our journey ahead. Ready? Let's get started. First, let's dissect the question. When you're asked, how do you plan to contribute to our residency program? During an interview, it's not just a casual inquiry. It's an invitation to share your value proposition, your self-perception, and your vision for the future. This question is a golden opportunity to showcase your understanding of the residency program and how you see yourself fitting into it. The question implies a few things. Firstly, it suggests that the interviewers are looking for candidates who have a clear and compelling vision for their future in the program. They're looking for more than just a participant. They want a contributor. They're interested in seeing how you plan to add value, promote growth, and bring about positive change within the residency program. Secondly, this question is a test of your preparation. Have you researched the program thoroughly? Do you understand its values, its strengths, and its goals? Are you aware of the program's current projects or initiatives? Your response will reveal the depth of your knowledge and your level of enthusiasm for the program. Thirdly, the question is an assessment of your self-awareness. It's an opportunity for you to showcase your unique skills, experiences, and attributes, and how these can benefit the program. It's about demonstrating your uniqueness and how you can be a valuable asset to the team. Lastly, the question is a probe into your future. The interviewers want to gauge your long-term commitment to the program. They want to know how you envision your growth during your residency and beyond. It's about your plans, your goals, and your aspirations. So, when you're asked, how do you plan to contribute to our residency program? Remember, it's not just about your skills, but also about your attitude, teamwork, and how you plan to grow during your residency. It's about painting a vivid picture of your future as a resident, a picture that aligns with the program's vision and goals. The key to answering this question effectively lies in understanding what it implies, preparing thoroughly, and presenting a compelling vision for your future. So let's dive into some methods that can help you craft a persuasive answer. Scene script, method one, highlight your unique skills. This is a power move that can set you apart from the sea of applicants. You see, we all have unique skills, talents, and experiences that can prove invaluable in a residency program. The key is to identify those unique skills and then present them in a way that aligns with the specific program you're applying to. Imagine you're an artist and your skills are your palette. Each color represents a different skill or experience. You want to create a masterpiece that resonates with the residency program, right? So, you need to choose the right colors, or in this case, the right skills. Let's say you're applying for a residency program that places a high emphasis on research. You won't just jot down research skills on your application, that's too vague, and honestly, anyone can claim that. What you want to do is dig deeper. Perhaps during your time in medical school, you were part of a team that conducted a groundbreaking study on cardiovascular diseases, or maybe you've contributed to a research paper that got published in a reputable medical journal. These are the unique skills and experiences you want to highlight. Now you don't just stop at mentioning these achievements, you want to connect the dots for the interviewers, explain how these unique skills can contribute to their ongoing research projects, show them that you're not just a participant, but a valuable contributor who can bring fresh perspectives and innovative ideas to the table. That's the essence of highlighting your unique skills. It's about recognizing your strengths, understanding how they align with the program, and presenting them in a way that shows your potential to contribute. So don't be shy. Embrace your unique skills and let them shine during your interview. And there you have it, folks. Talk about your experience in medical research and how it can contribute to ongoing projects. Your unique skills aren't just a list on your resume. 
they're your ticket to standing out and making a lasting impression. Method 2. Demonstrating Adaptability If there's one constant in the medical field, it's change. New research findings, evolving patient populations, and advancements in technology mean that adaptability is an essential trait for any aspiring resident. Imagine you're placed in a fast-paced environment with rapidly changing situations. One day, you might be dealing with a patient with a rare condition you've never encountered before. The next, you could be asked to use a new piece of medical equipment that you've never even seen. In these instances, being adaptable means being able to think on your feet and make quick, informed decisions. But adaptability isn't just about reacting to change. It's also about predicting and preparing for it. It's about being proactive, about seeking out new learning opportunities, and about constantly pushing yourself to improve. Now, you might be wondering, how can I demonstrate my adaptability during a residency interview? The key is to share specific examples from your past experiences. Maybe during medical school you were part of a project that took an unexpected turn and you had to quickly adjust your approach. Or perhaps in a previous job you had to learn a new procedure or piece of equipment on the fly. Whatever your example might be, the important thing is to clearly articulate how you adapted to the situation, what you learned from the experience, and how it made you a better medical professional. This will show the interviewers not only that you're adaptable, but also that you have the ability to learn from your experiences and grow. Remember, residency programs don't just want doctors who can perform under pressure. They want doctors who can thrive under pressure, who can adapt to new situations, and who can use these experiences to better serve their patients. Share examples from your medical school or previous work where you successfully adapted to changes or overcame challenges. Method 3. Show your commitment to learning. The journey of a medical professional is a lifelong pursuit of knowledge, and this is especially true during your residency, a time of intense hands-on learning. Now, expressing your commitment to learning isn't just about stating that you're eager to learn, it's about showing understanding of what that learning process involves and displaying a genuine interest in the unique educational opportunities the program offers. Let's start with the mentors. These are experienced professionals who have trodden the path you're about to embark on. They've seen it all, from the common, everyday situations to the rare, complex cases. They have a wealth of knowledge to share and your willingness to learn from them is a testament to your humility and respect for their expertise. It's about showing appreciation for the wisdom they've gathered over the years and your desire to absorb that wisdom to better serve your patients. But it's not just about the mentors. It's about the entire learning environment. Every case you handle, every patient interaction, every team meeting, they're all learning opportunities. Express your readiness to embrace these opportunities, to learn from every success and every mistake, to constantly seek feedback and strive for improvement. Show that you understand the value of continuous learning and that you're committed to making the most of each and every learning opportunity. Finally, don't forget to mention your commitment to self-directed learning. While the program provides the structure and guidance, you are ultimately responsible for your own learning. Talk about your strategies for self-study, your discipline in keeping up with the latest research, your curiosity that drives you to delve deeper into complex cases. Express your readiness to fully engage with all educational opportunities. Show that you're not just there to complete a residency, but to immerse yourself in a learning journey, to grow as a professional, and to contribute to the medical community with your newfound knowledge and skills. Method 4. Teamwork and Collaboration Now let's talk about a key aspect of residency that carries weight not just in medicine, but in virtually every profession. Teamwork and Collaboration the value of teamwork in a residency program cannot be overstated. It's the collective effort of a group to achieve a common goal. In a medical setting, that goal is typically to provide the best patient care possible. Now, you might be wondering, why is teamwork so important? Well, consider this. In a residency program, you're part of a larger team that includes not only other residents, but also attending physicians, nurses, and other healthcare professionals. Each member of this team brings their own unique skills and knowledge to the table. When everyone collaborates effectively, patient care improves and the team becomes more efficient. Collaboration is also vital for learning and growth. During your residency, you'll learn a lot from textbooks and lectures, sure, but you'll learn just as much, if not more, from your colleagues. They'll offer different perspectives, share their experiences, and challenge your thinking. 
this kind of collaborative learning environment can be incredibly enriching. So how can you demonstrate your commitment to teamwork and collaboration during your residency interview? Start by sharing examples from your past. Maybe you led a study group in medical school or perhaps you collaborated on a research project. Talk about the roles you played, the challenges you faced, and most importantly, the outcomes you achieved as a team. This will show the interviewers that you understand the dynamics of teamwork and have the skills to be an effective team player. But don't stop there. Also talk about how you plan to be a collaborative resident. Perhaps you're keen to learn from your peers, or maybe you're eager to share your own knowledge and experiences with the team. Whatever it is, make sure that your commitment to teamwork and collaboration shines through. And that's it for method four, teamwork and collaboration. Discuss how you have effectively worked in teams in the past and how you plan to be a collaborative resident. Method five, align your personal goals with the program. The alignment of personal career goals with the program's objectives is a crucial aspect when answering the question, how do you plan to contribute to our residency program? This method showcases not only your understanding of the program's objectives, but also your long-term commitment and dedication to the medical field. Instead of merely stating your goals, it's much more impactful to explain how your aspirations intertwine with the program's objectives. For instance, if the program focuses on community health and your goal is to improve healthcare accessibility in underserved areas, draw the connection. Describe how, through this residency, you would acquire the necessary skills and experience to make a significant difference in community health. Furthermore, your personal goals should reflect a commitment to continuous learning and professional development. This could range from achieving a high level of expertise in a specific medical specialty to aspiring to be a leader in healthcare. By aligning your career goals with the program, you demonstrate that you're not just looking for any residency, but specifically this one. Also, remember to highlight how the program will benefit from your personal goals. If your goal is to be a leader in healthcare, explain how your leadership skills could contribute to the program, perhaps by taking initiatives or fostering a positive learning environment. Let's not forget, this is a two-way street. While the program will help you achieve your goals, your goals will also contribute to the program's success, creating a symbiotic relationship. In conclusion, aligning your personal goals with the program's objectives demonstrates your long-term commitment, your understanding of the program, and how you can contribute to its success. Explain how you see this residency as a stepping stone to achieving those goals. After all, the journey to becoming a successful healthcare professional begins with a single step, and for many, that step is a residency program that aligns with their personal goals. There you have it a comprehensive guide on how to effectively answer one of the most significant questions in your residency interview. How do you plan to contribute to our residency program? We've explored five key methods. First, we discussed the importance of highlighting your unique skills that are relevant to the program you're applying to. Then, we emphasized the value of demonstrating adaptability, a trait highly prized in the medical field. Thirdly, we highlighted the need to show your commitment to learning, showcasing your eagerness to tap into the wealth of knowledge and experience that your mentors in the program will offer. Next, we underscored the crucial role of teamwork and collaboration, reminding you to share instances where you've successfully worked in teams in the past and how you plan to be a collaborative resident. Lastly, we advised you to align your personal goals with the program's objectives explaining how this residency will serve as a stepping stone to achieving your career ambitions. Remember, authenticity and preparation are paramount. Be true to yourself and let your passion for medicine shine through. Do your homework about the program so you can answer confidently and specifically. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and strategies to ace your residency interview. If you found our content helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more guides and tips on navigating your medical career. Give us a like if you appreciated this video and don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Are there any other topics you'd like us to cover in future videos? Any burning questions you want answered? Let us know in the comments section. Remember, your journey to becoming a resident is a marathon, not a sprint. It requires dedication, perseverance, and a lot of hard work. But we believe in you, and we're here to support you every step of the way. As you embark on this exciting journey, remember that preparation is key. Take your time, be thorough, and most importantly, believe in yourself. You've come this far, and a rewarding career in medicine awaits you. Now that you're ready to embark on this exciting phase of your medical career, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, 
and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Let's dive into the world of medical residency interview process and move one step closer to your residency goals. Stay motivated and best of luck on your journey to becoming a medical resident.